Thank you all for coming today. My name is Steve McKenna, and I'm the president of Mignotti Companies. We're the developers of this beautiful new home community, Waterside, and we're the hosts for today's event. Today we're here to unveil the River Renaissance in New Ben Salem, a very exciting redevelopment plan for the Ben Salem redevelopment area. It is particularly fitting that this announcement is being made at Waterside. Why, you ask? Because the River Renaissance is not just a plan for the future. It is real and it is underway, as you can see when you walk um, Waterside streets and view its beautiful architecture and serene setting directly on the banks of the Delaware River. After today's event, I invite all of you to take time to visit our four decorated um, samples next door, where we also have a uh, scaled plan of the entire community. If that would be interesting for all of you to see, I, I would make it a point to go in, go in and take a look at the model, the uh, plan of the community. As with the River Renaissance, Waterside will include a variety of uses. 450 plus townhomes, 150 mid-rise condominiums, a marina, retail, and offices. Please make it a point to walk, da walk down Federal Street, that's the street right here, down to the river, uh, uh, and view our gorgeous and complete eight-acre park directly on the river, the riverfront promenade, the beautiful traditional brick and stucco architecture by our cobblest cobblestone Hagen Square, and the balustrated pond overlook and the riverfront deck by the lawn on the pond. After you complete your tour, we are hosting a luncheon for everyone, everyone here, to take their time, mingle, and enjoy. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to talk to me um, or to any of the Mignotti staff that are around. Uh, with that, I am uh, proud, proud to introduce the mayor of Ben Salem Township, uh, Joseph DiGirolamo. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming out today for, in my view, a, a momentous day in Ben Salem Township. After 20 years of my vision and, and hopefulness, I think we're finally on the way. Before we go into any more detail, announce everybody's here. Senator Tomlinson has to leave, and I'd like him to come up and say a few words. Senator Tomlinson. Mayor, I want to uh, personally thank you for your vision and the work that you've done. Uh, we've been very involved in this project. I think we have over $5 million in grants and loans for the cleanup. Many of you don't know this was an old chemical site further up. It was an old shipyard, all industrial around here. In fact, I had a job in the summertime at Baden Housing Corporation across the street for which this place that made the boilers for the ships that they built on this side of the of State Road. So we've gone from a, from industrial site to now residential, mixed use, retail, uh, something that I think is really great for this township. And Mayor, you've been one of the spearheads of this and it's council people here. Uh, a great reuse, a great revitalization, a great rebirth of this area. Uh, it's interesting for me and particularly the mayor to say that because we grew up right, right here uh, you probably spent more days on the river than Gene and I did, but we all spent a lot of days on this river, water skiing, enjoying it, swimming, uh, recreational. So that's a great use coming back for us, for recreational use, residential use, commercial use. Uh, it's a, a, and it's a, what a great uh, area, what a great wealth we can have in these, in these properties here along this, along this Delaware River. So congratulations, Mayor and Council, for your, your foresight and your thinking and, and revitalizing this area and bringing that because... We know those industrial jobs aren't coming back. Let's turn this area into something we can use. Thank you, Gene, Mayor, Council. Congratulations. As, as Senator Thompson said, we grew up here, Gene and I, and, and the Senator Tommy, and the river has always been a very, very big part of our lives, and certainly mine, since I'm the oldest one that's here. Uh, I spent a little more time on the river than they did. And I always tell everybody, I know I'm De Girolamo, but my mom found me in some reeds along the river there, down on Dunks Ferry Road where I was born. So if you can all figure that out, you'll know why uh, I'm here today. Uh, the riverfront, how important it's been to us here in Ben Salem Township. This has been something that myself and council, and certainly with the Redevelopment Authority, the planning board, everybody working together wants to redevelop this area. And the first opportunity came is where you're sitting right now. It, with the McNaughty Corporation, certainly in leadership of Steve McKenna, had taken a site that had to be cleaned up, what would not be able to have residences here, and they spent many, many dollars and many of the state dollars and many McNaughty dollars to clean this site. This was a chemical plant. Now, if any of you did any history, is anybody here from the Courier? You're, okay, oh, we got our new guy now back to us. If they remember, they did a story 
that actually along the river here, a one-man sub came up the river, if you all remember. You, you do remember, right? And it got as far as here. I believe it was a Japanese sub. I don't know if it was German or Japanese. But this was wartime along here, and I was growing up then. I was a young boy. And along this river, every evening, all lights had to be out, shutters down, shades, and we watched marshals walk up and down the river with guns patrolling the Delaware River. Why? Because it was an industrial site. It was places that we, they were thought maybe that's where they could take out and hurt our country by coming through right here in Ben Salem. Those industrial days for shipping are gone here in, in Ben Salem. We, also, we still have it in Bucks County, but not here in Ben Salem. This revitalization will bring back what I think is a perfect opportunity to rejuvenate, revitalize, and a renaissance of an area that 675 acres. That's going to be, in my opinion, I hope I live to see some of it, or I know I won't see all of it. It's going to take a long time. It's a big tract of land. The township is not taking a role where we will come in and tell somebody that we're condemning their property. That's not what this is about. Any businessman that's here, don't get the idea that the township is going to take your land to redevelop it. This is something that's going to go by the strength of what can be done here. When somebody wants to develop part of this community, it's going to be because they want to buy land and be here to make their development work. And we think that's going to happen. It won't happen overnight. It will not. But I want to tell you, this site took 10 years in the making. We went through some very, very tough times. All of you in this room, especially the business people, you know we had eight years that you couldn't do anything. The economy was so bad, nobody would put five cents into it. McNaughty did. McNaughty did. They came to the table, and they started this. What you say, I hope you get a chance, if you haven't already, to look at some of the samples and walk down to the riverfront. Incidentally, incidentally, council and all of the ordinances that if you're going to build on the Delaware River, you must keep part of that development open to the public. It's in the ordinance, it's happening here, and it will happen anywhere else that anybody builds along this Delaware River, which I think is very important to keep the public so that they can utilize this beautiful, beautiful river that we had. I tell you, it's been a long time coming. I remember growing up with all of these factories here. There were all kind of things going on. They were, uh, public or industries was one of them. They were, they were actually doing stuff for the Army and the, uh, the, the, the armed forces. They were testing chemicals and everything. In my lifetime, I saw my dad and some of the other places along here, there was a release of chemicals that not only killed everything on our farm, but killed trees along the Delaware. So you can imagine what went back and how we're going to have a renaissance to look back on that and say it served its purpose in those days, but today the mixed use that we have planned for this. Incidentally, incidentally, please make sure, we're not just talking about houses. and We're talking about high-tech companies coming in here. We think it's a perfect opportunity of the location of where we're at to get that accomplished. And I'm looking forward to that, to create the jobs. We think we're going to, with the road system that we had, the redevelopment, the fixing of roads, we're going to attract great companies from all over this country to come here. It's going to be a, a great, great beginning today. I hope this press conference makes you go back and think of the really great things that are going to happen. Steve McKenna and Mr. McNally, I thank you for starting, taking the chance on us here in Ben Salem and taking this, I think it's 45 acres of uh, riverfront to redo it. So we're, again, thank you for coming today. Stay tuned. This is going to be an incredible ride, and I hope all of you will be there to do it with us. And uh, any businesses here, I hope you invest your money down here. And in case we get houses built, as you can do today, please tour and buy a house today. If you buy a house today, I will give you a $5 rebate. <laughs> I'm serious, from me, not the township. That's something to consider, guys. Five bucks, let's go. All right, I'll give you 10 if you sign up today. And
without further ado, I want to start with some of our dignitaries here to, to uh, say a few words. And I certainly want to start with the part of the team that's making this word, our council chairman, Tony Belfield. Tony, come on up. Afternoon, everyone. I can think of no more appropriate place to unveil the township's vision for our waterfront than here at Waterside. And the mayor touched upon it. Uh, the Mignotti group has done a wonderful job here. Uh, they took a risk on Ben Salem. It's paying off, and we can thank you for that. Uh, a lot of times we go through these planning processes, and they are long and drawn out. As the mayor said, this process started over 10 years ago. And we think about things like vision statements and trying to picture what it is that we're putting to paper. I can't tell you how great an asset it is to be able to come down here and walk and see it. And put your hand on it to see the beautiful park down here on the river and to imagine that extending the whole length of the river, the bike paths, uh, the views of the river. This is None of this was done by accident. It was all done for one purpose in mind, to allow the residents and the business owners and the people who are going to be working in this area to reconnect to the river, and more importantly, to allow the rest of the township to reconnect to its forgotten river. When this is all done, said and done, you know, we are going to be able to provide to our residents access to an amazing facility where they can come and recreate, they can come and dine, they can come and work, they can come and live. And this is the vision that we've had over all these years. And today, uh, with the help of many people, uh, including the, the administration, council, our uh, legal team, and all of our support staff, uh, we're proud to be able to have this event, and again, we'd like to thank the Mignotti Group for hosting it. Thank you. Morning, everyone. Uh, I want to share a little story with you. Uh, this morning at 7.30, me and the mayor were over at Ben Salem High School for a Student of the Month award ceremony. So after the kids get their award, me and him get a chance to just say a few words. So I was first, so uh, I was going to be a little bit of a wise guy, so I said, the uh, mayor had to cancel Ben Salem Day tomorrow because of the weather. So I said, uh, Mayor, if it snows on Christmas Eve, are you going to cancel Christmas too? Right? So everybody laughed, and I'm feeling pretty good. So I go sit down, right? So next comes the mayor, unfortunately for me. So he gets up to the microphone, and he says, Well, talking about making decisions, Gene, how are you coming along with the budget up in Harrisburg? <laughs> All right. I said, He got me right here. I said, Anyway, just, just thrilled to death to be with you today. Uh, the mayor, my uncle, and council, Tony, everybody on council, they've had a vision for a long time for this waterfront. And it's finally coming to fruition. And Steve McKenna, your name been mentioned before, but God bless you because you had the courage, and, and really the courage to come here, somebody had to be first. And you had the courage to come here and invest in this site and invest in Ben Salem. And there were many times, boy, where it really didn't look good, where uh, I know we were all worried about whether this was going to become a reality. And look, look, what, look what you have right outside the tent that we're here. So thank you, Steve, and to the whole Mignani family, really. And as the mayor mentioned, when I was a little boy growing up here, just a half a mile down the river, this property where we were right here, and the mayor mentioned about you know the, the, the chemical spill, they used to have gigantic piles, and they, it was bright yellow. And everybody used to tell us that it was sulfur, I think what it was, and, and it was right along the river, these huge piles of sulfur completely out in the open. I mean, who could have ever imagined that they would be able to clean this property up? And, you know, here we are here today. So, uh, you know, I, I just want to congratulate you, Mayor, really, sincerely. And to Council and uh, to Bignotti and everybody that's here, this is going to be a tremendous vision. And, uh, you know, I'm going to do, and I know Senator Tomlinson and Congressman Fitzpatrick, and I see our County Commissioner, Charlie Martin, that's here today. We're going to do everything we can to help Ben Salem Township. We were voted last year one of the 50 best places to live in the United States of America, not Pennsylvania. And uh, I think if this vision becomes a reality, Mayor, I hope, I hope we're the best place to live in the United States. God bless and thank you.
Well, in spite of the weather, this is a great day for, uh, for Ben Salem. I think I'll come back on a better day and really look around and see what's going on here. There's been some great advertisements in the newspaper I've seen here. We were here many years ago when this was, as Joe said, uh, you know, just an ugly looking uh, remnants of an old chemical plant. And to see what actually has been put on this site is really uh, rewarding. I hope in a minute to look at your posters, Mayor. I do hope you're around to see this uh, concluded and, and uh, see what you have a better you, chance than I do. Well, I, I like to go somewhere where there's somebody older than me here. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, all kidding aside, this planning exercise looks like a really wonderful thing for Ben Salem. Certainly it's good for Bucks County, which we have to look out for the whole county, but coming over to see what you're doing here in Ben Salem, uh, you're always one of the most uh, business-friendly communities in the county, and that's a, that's a really good thing to see the uh, mass transit. And today actually is Manufacturing Day, believe it or not, uh, and there's several uh, different manufacturing companies in Bucks County that are open for tours. One right here in Ben Salem I think we're coming back to this afternoon at uh, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in Ben Salem, a manufacturing company. And it's great to see things manufactured in the United States, even better in Pennsylvania, Gene, and even marvelous when it's right here in Bucks County. So I think uh, the township is certainly leading the way. Hopefully the rest of the county will follow. The river is a great asset. This looks like a wonderful, wonderful community that's being uh, constructed here on this site and uh, taking full advantage of the river and all the amenities that that brings and the type of housing that's here is really marvelous. It's going to bring a lot of good people to Bucks County and to Ben Salem. So congratulations to Steve, the mayor, all the folks here in Ben Salem. And we're looking forward to uh, seeing wonderful things occur on the waterfront. But Joe, thank you again. Uh, good morning, everybody. My name is Matthew Dakita. I'm the Director of Building and Planning for Ben Salem Township. This is a good day. We're very excited about being here. We're very excited to show you our vision of the riverfront, the study area. The study area is 675 acres. It extends from, and if you look at the last board down there, it extends from I-95 to the Delaware River. And it goes from Station Avenue to Street Road. It also includes Cornwell's Heights and Eddington Station. In order to ensure success of our vision, we had to make sure that it was sensitive to local context, responsive to regional needs, and effective to secure a strong, positive future for Ben Salem. Using these three goals as our foundation, we set up a platform. On that, that platform, where we're going to build our vision. That platform was opportunity. So everything you see on these boards and here moving forward, is being done in the form of an overlay. What that means is you have options. Your base zoning, the existing use of your property remains the same. The only thing that will change is when you decide you want to implement the overlay. What is the overlay? Our vision of the riverfront is based on a mixed use pedestrian oriented growth. That growth will be structured by a form based code. Now, the difference between form-based coding and a traditional zoning is that traditional zoning focuses on single-use districts that create islands unto themselves. With form-based codes, we're placemaking. Using the transects that are within a form-based code, we can define the, the form and density of the spaces we want to create. Now, what's a transect? A transect is a concept derived from nature whereby you have ocean, beachfront, all open space, transitions into dunes, grasslands, and then eventually you get into a, heavy, a densely wooded area. You take that same cross-section and apply it to our built environment, and we, get, we have our open space, single-family dwellings, townhomes, twins, and then eventually we, we uh, transition into uh, an urban center. So taking that and starting with our open space, by preserving open space that corresponds with existing natural features, wetlands, historic drainage patterns, and implementing um, environmentally sensitive engineering principles, such as bioswales, green roofs, and then interconnecting uh, a stormwater management system, our open space can serve two purposes. One, as a recreational space, and two, to mitigate a lot of the flooding that we all know occurs down here, in particular at Station Avenue uh, and State and at Street Road and State Road. Moving forward, we, we get to the neighborhoods. In the neighborhoods, here you're going to see single family dwellings on medium to small size lots, 
And, and if you want a real life example of, of what that would be like, you need only to look at Echo Beach and the neighborhood just above State Road right here in the, in the study area. Um, there you have a good wholesome neighborhood fabric. Then we transition into the town. In the town, you'll see these same singles. They'll be accompanied though by townhomes and twins. And you'll see the local uh, corner store pop up here and there. And for a good real life example of that, you need look no further than where we are right now, Waterside. As Waterside develops, you will see that same form and density develop. And as this comes to completion, more, some more corner stores and things like that will occur. Then we get to the town center. In the town center, here's where we'll see shops, restaurants, and cafes lining the street. We'll have a large central park. There'll be a riverfront amphitheater and a plaza with an open market. And here we envision farmers from Upper Bucks bringing their goods down here and produce for sale. Now in this same area, and it's in the board right up there, it, we're, we're envisioning a regional technology and manufacturing center. And this is, an, this is a key part. It's right above the State Road area uh, in the town center district. Here we envision a, uh, housing buildings with advanced technological features. And once again, another real life example of that is a prototype building that's under construction not too far from here. And it's in that exact same location. It currently, it's, it's actually almost under completion and it will showcase cutting edge technology. Technology that we expect to see in the buildings that will be built there and not to mention that, but also to manufacture and distribute from Ben Salem. We also envision expansion and enhancement to the existing public transportation system. Just recently we met with a representative from SEPTA and he voiced very enthusiastic support of this project. Now tying all this together, there'll be a network of parks, bike trails, uh, walking paths, uh, and then the larger open space that we mentioned earlier on. That'll all be connected, tied together, so we have connectivity to all parts of the riverfront. Now I believe right now Ben Salem's at a crossroads. One path leads to obsolescence, the other path leads to relevance. With this plan, we are choosing to be relevant. This is a renaissance for all of Ben Salem, not just, and it, well, it's a renaissance for all of Ben Salem, and it's starting right here. In this new Ben Salem, we will not only just be the model for sustainability, economic development, and smart growth, more so, we will define it. Thank you very much.